Hi guys, it's Hani here, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your Astro headset to your computer and your Xbox simultaneously, so you can do live commentaries and also listen to music, YouTube, and use Skype while playing your Xbox. All right, and the center of all this is going to be your Astro mix amp. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how all this connects together. First of all, in order to chat with people on Xbox Live. You have to have your controller. You see here I have a scuff pinky controller. No trigger stops or anything. Has a domed stick, blacked out buttons, pink controller, wireless, and the normal paddles on the back. Alright, you're going to have your chat cable going from your controller. And I have mine wrapped around right back here. And into the front of the mix amp. Goes into that slot right there. Alright, and then for your Astros, you can have your Astros plugged in right here. Follow this down, loops back up for me. And I have it plugged in right here. It's to the left of your chat cable, right there. Alright, and then this is where either everything else comes into play. For your Xbox, for the audio, you're going to have to have the optical cable. It's right back here. On the top right, and that plugs into the back of your Xbox right here. If you have the newer Xbox, it goes right there, right below the HDMI cable. All right, and then to your PC, you're gonna have your USB power. You can see right here. And that is plugged in right in the front, right here for me. That's going to allow you to record your microphone for your PC and also power your mix amp. Then the last cable we have is right here in the middle. It's going to go into the MP3 slot. And that's so you can hear audio from your PC. And that I have plugged right back here. You can see it's plugged in right here with the splitter I have right there. And that all came with my Astros. That's the nice thing about them. They come with everything you need in order to do this. Alright, and for video, see I have my HD PVR2, 1080p HDMI version. I have the USB, it's plugged into the back of my PC. I have the HDMI. It's plugged into the back of my Xbox. And then I have the other end of the HDMI. It's plugged into my TV right here. Alright. So that's everything you're going to need hardware wise plugged in in order for this to work. I'm going to go ahead and turn my controller on, show you what else you're going to need to do. You're going to want to go over to the guide, go to preferences, go to voice, and you're going to change that to play through both, so that not only whenever you're recording your voice through software I'm going to show you how to do, but you can also record voices of people in the game by having go through the speakers, otherwise it will not work. You can have it through just speakers by like having it play through both, so it sounds the best for me. So once you have that done... And go over to your PC, and I'll show you what to do from here. You're going to want to go ahead and open up your HD PVR software, and it's ArcSoft Showbiz for me. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And then go to Capture. Then from here, you're going to be able to capture your Xbox footage, and also voices of other people you're playing with. In order for you to record your own voice, you're going to have to use some software. And I chose to use Audacity to record with because it has a lot of options and it's pretty simple to use. You can see I have Audacity right here. You can simply start recording and it'll pick up whatever your Astro microphone can hear. See? Go ahead and hit that a little bit and you'll see it's pulling up right up there. And then you can see right here, you have their PVR software. So all you'd have to do is start both of these at the same time or around the same time. And then once you're done with that, 
and you pause this and you pause that and automatically it'll save your PVR stuff to a video file and this you can go and you're going to export your audio and then you can save it and I have a folder called audio tracks right next to my videos and you'll see I have a video already in there and some audio from a match I played in order to put this together I use Sony Vegas Pro 64 bit I'll go ahead and open that up for you once we have this open I'm going to go ahead drag the video file down here and you'll see it's building peaks for the video and the audio right now and once that pops up showing the audio track for the video and go ahead and add the audio from the audacity that you used I'm just going to go ahead and add it ahead of time right now and you'll see it builds peaks for that and then all you have to do is go play it back a little bit and try to line it up. Usually you start off with the first time you see or hear yourself talking in the bar or by listening to the audio. And you match it up to the icon on the top left of you talking. And once you have that all matched up, you can add some simple things like beginning of the video. You can just go ahead and have the video fade in. By grabbing it and fading it in, fading in the audio, and all that jazz. Alright, and do the same with the end if you want to. And after you're done with all that, go to File, and then you're going to want to Render As. And then I have mine rendering as for HD PVR at 6 HD 720 and 30p video. See that right there, kind of. I might try upping it a little bit since I have my new HD PVR and maybe I can get some better quality out of it along with YouTube because I haven't used this in a while so they used to have lower settings available for YouTube quality and stuff but I'm going to be able to mess with those settings and get something better now. Once I'm done with all that I'll close all that and you can just go on to YouTube and just go to upload and go ahead and upload that video and enter description and save it. And post it wherever you'd re regularly post it, your Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, basically anywhere you want to. So that's about all you have to do in order to record live commentary for your HD PVR of you talking. And if you want to hear music or anything while you're playing, you go ahead and just open up some music. Start playing that music, it'll automatically go through your Astro headset via settings. And you also see, if you look at my dials down here, I have my game volume dial a little past the middle. And then the overall volume is pretty low. I didn't see any need to make it higher. So that's about all you have to do with that. And for the rest of my setup, you can see my PCs over here. Got some extra rechargeable batteries. Got a nice deodorant stick, you know, for that gaming. Xbox Live Vision camera for if I ever stream or when I used to play Uno back in the day on my Xbox. Got my Samsung monitor right here. My Dell monitor right there. See, I have a Razer Death Adder mouse right here. I have a QXC Steel Series mouse pad and a Black Widow Ultimate keyboard with mechanical key switches, as you can see right here. You can hear that real quick. The nice thing about these is they last a very long time and really fast. Tactile clicks comes up real fast. So that's about it for my setup. And I have this chair right here and a window. Yep, so that's about it. This has been Hani with a tutorial on how to set up your Astros to do live commentary. If you want to see any future videos, doing tutorials or anything just go ahead and leave me a message or a comment feel free to comment rate subscribe and follow my twitter which is xhoney7 alright that's it